All right, up next, local agencies work together to improve early childhood education. But first, here's a 1986 Detroit Black Journal interview with Dave Bing about being an African-American businessman. You as an individual, as a, a black man in business, uh, how did you see your clout grow specifically and what could be done for the black community as relates to gaining that kind of power? I would say I'm very fortunate in location uh, more than anything else to be very honest with you to to, to live in a city uh, like Detroit that has a mayor like Coleman Young that has the whole um, political team that's very very supportive of uh, black entrepreneurs uh, to be in a city where um, you're in manufacturing such as my business and have all three major car companies located here that are very very supportive of the program has helped also so I think location and support from major corporations and the whole political process has helped me to grow from a very, very small company in a short period of time to expand uh, my growth, not where I'd like to be, but has helped tremendously. You mentioned that, though. It is important to find, and especially, I think, uh, for blacks, to find a niche. Now, you found a, a, a corporation that needed to supply for others. Now, many blacks do not necessarily do that, or for, for some time they did not. They, they had traditional black businesses. Is it important that we move past that and start to, to grow into other areas? Is that why you picked steel, perhaps? I think so, without a doubt, because in steel, it was something that obviously is non-traditional vis-a-vis what most blacks may venture into in terms of business. And I saw an opportunity here in this city where it was a major, major business. Uh, it's a support system to uh, the big automotive industry. And uh, I saw an opportunity to get involved into something that uh, could accrue major dollars for me, which would help me leverage myself to diversify into some other areas. 